Hello everyone. For those of you that don't know, my name's Finn and welcome to my journey that's well on its way towards a life closer to boat building and sailing. So in this episode, after a short little break down to Wales to get a bit of respite and have a bit of time away from work, it's time to come back and get on with fitting the last of the bulwark planks. But I'm also going to make a start down on the interior of the boat. So that's enough of me rambling on. Let's get straight to it.
I've just come back to Copford Sawmill, which is the local sawmill back to where I grew up. It's where I've been getting most of the timber I've been using on building on the boat. So I'm back here today to collect the oak that they've had stored for the last about nine months. Uh, so it's been air drying and it's going to be the oak timber that I'm going to be using for the capping rails down the port and starboard side of the boat. It's going to be one of the biggest expenses I've had to spend on the boat so far. I know there's still many, many more very large expensive uh, parts and components that I'm going to have to purchase. But I've had quite a decent stock of timber that I've had saved up over the last few years that quite a lot of that is what I've been using on uh, some of the parts that I've been having to build for the boat. So this is probably going to be about a thousand pounds to get the rest of the oak that I need for the capping rails. They're about 3.6 meters long and about 60 mil thick and typically they're right at the back and at the bottom of this huge stack right behind me here. <coughs> so Harry, the guy that runs the yard here, has just gone to change the forks on the on the big digger, which is the big machine you see over in the background. And uh, once he gets the forks out, he can come and dismantle this big stack and dig out my tree that's right at the back and right at the bottom. So let's catch up in a bit. Okay, so I've been and collected all of the oak for my capping rails and I've now got it back here and I've got it stacked inside the workshop, keeping it nice and dry. But before I get on with templating for the capping rails and make a start on cutting this timber, I'm gonna move onto the inside of the boat and make a start on removing all of the saloon assembly so I can then drop the height of the sole and then the next step is to start templating for the water tanks and the fuel tanks so I can get them templates sent away to the manufacturers so I can get the process of the tanks being made started as that's going to be one of the next major jobs in the build of this boat. So it feels really great to be at this stage where I've got the port and starboard bulwarks all cut to size and bolted up onto the boat. Now there's still a bit of work to be done on the outboard faces and they all need a really good sanding and then a good couple of coats of primer. And then I've got to trim the tops of all of the stanchions down the port side and just make sure they're all nice and fair before I'm then able to make a start on templating and cutting the timber for the capping rails. But I'm really, really happy with the progress. I'm really happy with the way it's all looking. Uh, we've got a really nice fair line running down the shear line. So I'm also really happy to be making a start 
on the interior of the boat, even if it is only to be dismantling things at the moment, to get everything removed and out of the way so I'm then able to make a start on templating for the tanks that are going to be needed in the boat. I feel that's the first major step that I've really got to undergo on the interior of the boat. So to get that out of the way will be great but I'm going to save that for the next episode now as this is about all I've got time for in this video. So I'd just like to say if you haven't done so already then please hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to get notified of my next release. It really is the best way to support and help the channel grow. Now I'd just like to say a massive thanks to all of you guys that support the project by donating through my Patreon or through my PayPal or Amazon wishlist. Your support really is overwhelming and I really don't think this would be possible if it wasn't for all of you guys. So thank you. And if there's any of you that would like to find out how you can support the project, then head to the description below this video and I'll include all of the relevant links. I really hope all of you guys following along have enjoyed the progress up until this point and will continue to do so as the project unfolds. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.